today topic of discussion chromosome banding what is chromosome banding chromosome banding simply means that the chromosomes is present in the form of band okay so chromosome is present in the form of bands when use a particular staining technique we get them in the form of band okay when we are using particular staining technique we get them in the form of band how come these band are formed by using staining technique some band have dark shade some band have lighter in shade so why this one have light shading or dark shading because of staining then why this chromosome banding is important technique uh, by using this chromosome banding we can identify abnormalities okay we can identify our abnormal chromosomes so whether chromosome breakage or chromosome loss or duplication as well as translocation so like this abnormalities we can identify it so this one is the human ideogram 1 to uh, 22 auto chromosome one sex chromosome allosome uh, some portions dark in color some portions are light in color so this alternating light and dark coloring of that chromosome is known as chromosome banding and this technique is due to that stain we use so why is chromosome banding is important because uh, abnormalities identifying abnormalities a chromosome breakage loss duplication as well as translocation what is band uh, chromosome that uh, that band is a part of chromosomes band is a part of chromosome that can be clearly distinguished from its adjacent segment presence of dark or light with various banding method so what is band it is a part of chromosome this one will differentiate uh, from its segment by the presence of dark or light with various banding method such a part chromosome is known as one band so a banding technique is based on banding technique is based on two method one is u chromatin second one is heterochromatin so these are the two technique in which a banding is classified let's discuss about typing of chromosome banding uh, actually chromosome is made up of material that material name is called chromatin okay so chromosome or made up of material that uh, material name is called as chromatin the chromatins are two types u chromatin and heterochromatin u chromatin or chromatin region that remain decondensed okay here decondensed throughout interface or active in transcription this one condensed throughout in interface this one decondensed u chromatin decondensed this heterochromatin condensed this one is the active in transcription this one is the inactive in transcription so heterochromatin stain dark dark during interface this one light in interface so u chromatin light heterochromatin dark during interface so this is a part of chromosome after staining light and dark band absorbed under microscope next staining protocol collection of tissue we separated cell samples then arresting chromosome at 
metaphase okay all the things chromosome resting in that metaphase only metaphase by cosine treatment whole is in treatment so how that metaphase chromosome are resting by using whole is in treatment then hypotonic solution that is potassium potassium chloride okay so potassium chloride treat to disperse chromosome so first from tissue collected cell then metaphase that chromosome is uh, treated with uh, cold season after that treated with uh, hypotonic solution that is potassium chloride then addition of carn ice fixative solution so here addition of carn ice fixative uh, solution 3 is to 1 ratio this solution containing 3 is to 1 ratio of methanol and glacial acetic acid glacial acetic acid then dropping the cell on the slide then we will do trying then stained with using dye then visualized under microscope and photography study chromosome banding pattern by using light microscope we can study so here we will take cell then uh, metaphase chromosome treated with whole season then um, that potassium chloride then addition of fixative solution it containing 3 is to 1 ratio methanol and acetic acid then dropping of that cell on slide so here various staining we are using then visualized under light microscope we can study that pattern of chromosome the banding technique banding technique is based on the type of dyes used chromosome part v stain so banding technique here we having five different type of banding q g n c and t banding Q stand for Cunar crine. This one discovered in 1958 by scientist Cosberzen et al. Here I didn't write that scientist name. Second one is uh, that uh, G banding. This one discovered in 1971. G stand for Jimsa. Then N banding nor nucleus nucleolus organizer region discovered in 1973 then centromeric discovered in 1978 last one is d banding okay trometric banding so totally we have by banding technique we want to discuss one by one first one is q banding technique chromosome metaphase chromosome only stained with q nor crine q nor crine mustard then subjected to uv light then banding pattern rich in ad base then rich in g c base rich in ad base in dark staining rich in gc base in light staining then what is the advantage of q banding technique this one is the simple one used g band is not accepted used uh, in study of chromosome heteromorphism so here Various morphology. Chromosome heteromorphism means various morphology we can identify. Next disadvantage. Uh, this one after staining not immediately observed uh, means the band may be fa um, fade away. Okay because the staining based on the fluorescence that is fade the band.
next one is g banding discovered in zumer and his co-worker in the year of 1971 here using uh, staining jimsa staining it containing mi mixture of azure eosin that one is the basic uh, acetic dye then methylene blue this one is the basic dye so uh, jimsa staining containing mixture of azure then uh, eosin and methylene blue so here also metaphase chromosome uh, then treatment with trypsin so here we can treat with that chromosome trypsin to denature that protein then by using here jimsa staining we are using dark band at rich region light band uh, gc rich pattern okay so heterochromatin in at rich region light band euchromatin then advantage used in identification of band rich sulfur content sulfur content identification then used in identification of chromosome abnormalities then gene mapping also this one we cannot use for plant enzyme cannot seen okay not used in plant so this is all about g banding so next one is r banding here also jimsa stain only we are using mixture of azure eosin and methylene blue but here staining is different but reverse band okay reverse band just opposite to that one so here also metaphase chromosome treat with trypsin to denature and remove the protein then heat de uh, then do heat denaturation then staining with jimsa opposite result light band heterochromatin in at region then dark band in euchromatin gc rich region so this is the things regarding our banding next one is uh, n banding here also metaphase chromosome yatride then treated with a 5 percentage of trichloroacetic acid at 95 degrees celsius for 30 minutes after that treated with 0.1 normality of hcl at 60 degrees celsius for 30 minutes then banding pattern in structural non histone protein linked in nucleolus organization organizer region so this one used in identification of nucleolar organizer region then superior banding pattern for plant this one using for plant superior banding pattern in um, plant this nor nucleolus organizer region also called as satellite region so satellite region identification n banding technique next one is c banding technique chromosome treating with alkali solution dna denaturing then washed with sodium citrate at uh, 60 degree celsius for 30 minutes here repetitive dna renature but unique dna does not renature repetitive dna only renature unique dna not renature then staining with the jimsa solution then banding pattern heterochromatin region advantage identification of chromosome particularly in insect and plant then identification of bivalent then paternity then gene gene mapping so last banding t banding technique uh, this one is the staining telomeric region of chromosome chromosome are incubated in bbs phosphate buffered saline solution phosphate buffered saline solution for 2260 minute at 87 degree celsius then air dry the slide then staining with the jimsa for 5 to 20 minutes then coisette solution 
then air dry the slide observed under microscope can be identified telomeric region telomeric region summary for five different type of banding g banding proteolysis with tyrosine staining with the gymstra strain here banding pattern dark at region light gc region then r band heat denature staining with gymsa stain dark gc region light at region then uh, q banding staining with cunarzine mustard dye dark ad light gc then c band denature with barium hydroxide uh, staining with gymsa dye then n band uh, n band air dry treating with dry chloroacetic acid and 0.1 normality hcl band dark band n or region last one is t band incubation in that phosphate buffer saline treated with gymsa staining here that uh, coz solution uh, observation a uh, dark band gc region telomeric region नाम इत वीडियो क्रोमोसोम बांडिंग पता पातर क्रोमोसोम बांडिंग सिंपला हव वि विल टेल मीन क्रोमोसोम इज प्सड इन द फम आफ ओके क्रोमोसोम एप्ली प्सेंट आंड फार्मेशन प्सेंट आई बै यूसिंग स्टेनिंग टेक्निक वी कैन ईडेंटिफाइड सम आफ द थिंग हेविंग डार्क शेड सम आफ दम थिंग हेविंग लाइट शेड बेस्ड आन दिंग ऐनिंग टेक्निक इंपार्ट अब पातना ह्यूमन इडियोग्राम पातनाइट डार्लेट डेंडर सो बै यूसिंग दी स्टिंग मेतड वी कैन ईडेंटिफाइड एद क्रोमोसोम वो ब्रेक आदा लास्ो एदप्लिकेशन आदा ट्रांसलोकेट क्रोमोसोम ट्रांसलोकेट आो मेतड वे ईडेंटिफिकेशन पड़ला सो हियर क्रोमोसोम दट कैन क्लियरली डिफ्रेंशियेट फ्रम अड्जस्ट अड्जस्ट सेगमेंट एपी ना कैपिटा बै यूसिंग डार्क अंड लाइट बांडिंग ओके मेन टू मेतड यूस पड़ रहा क्रोमोसोम वो ये मेडफाफी पाता क्रोमाटीन टू टाइप आफ मेटीरियल वन वो यू क्रोमाटीन अंड हेटीरो क्रोमाटीन यू क्रोमाटीन आर क्रोमाटीन रीजन दट रिमैंड डी कंटेंसड थ्रू अवट दट इंटरफे अक्टिव इन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन इत व कंडनसड थ्रो अवट दट इंटरफे अंड इन आक्टिव इन ट्रांसक्रिप्शन सो इत वो स्टेटली ड्यूरी इंटरफे इंतन वो डूरी इंटरफे टाइम स्टेनिंग पोटकाल पोटकाल पातना टिश्यूल से मेनी वो क्रोमोसोम मेटाफेस वो अंदेसा वो क्रोमोसोम ईडेंटिफिकेशन पड़ रहा फर्स्ट ट्रीटड वित् कोल सीसिन देन हईपोटोनिक सल्यूशन पोटाशियम फ्लोरेट ट्रीटमेंट को देन फिक्सेटिव थ्री इज वन रेसियो आफ मेतन अंड लेजियल असिटिक आसिड को अब अल स्ल वे ड्रै पड़े स्टेनिंग पड़ी मैक्रोस्कोप फोटोग्राफी मेतडल पाक स्टडी क्रोमोसोम बांडिंग पैटर्न बै यूसिंग मैक्रोस्कोप वी कैन स्टडी दट क्रोमोसोम बांडिंग पैटर्न बेस्ड आन दर् 
we are using in chromosome staining no other part of five type of banding it Q uh, G N C T banding Q standing get the idu illami metaphase lada chromosome on this stained with uh, this Q nor grind stain then UV light Dukro, then banding pattern we can observe AT phase dark stain arco region rich in AT phase region rich in uh, GC phase la the light color arco banding order advantage simple method used to study chromosome heteromorphism various marbology other pathi study panala disadvantage on the after staining number immediate on the focus pani and the band on the fad iron other than uv light break the chemical band so immediate on the park no other than the order for disadvantage next g banding metaphase chromosome treated with trypsin then stained with jimsa staining a heterochromatin at region la dark band on euchromatin light band on GC region liyo present ayirko. identification of band rich in sulfur content identification panla chromosome abnormalities uh, identification panla gene mapping ka use panala it one the plant or the enzyme the cannot detected so not used in plant next one is R banding same staining use panro but it one the enana that band Banding pattern only different. Light banding heterochromat heterochromatin on the AD rich dark chromatin dark band U chromatin la uh, G C rich region la present.